Hey guys, and welcome to another quick tip video. Um, this time, I will be showing you guys a way to nicely output um, the entirety of an array. Um, this is not in a user interface way, but more in a debugging way or to seeing if your code is working. For instance, um, if you're trying to set a number of cookies and you want to see if they're being set, you can um, output the array in this fashion. Now, as I'm sure you probably know, and if you don't, you can check out my tutorial on arrays because I talk about it there, but the easiest way to output the entirety of an array is to just go print underscore r and that array. Um, so you print underscore array. In this tutorial I'm going to be using the globals array. Um, so yeah, uh, if I print underscore array, you see we get this jumbled mess. What people often say to do from there is to view page source, and then you have it very nicely put here. However, it's not always nice to have to view your page source every time you load the page. So, what this tip does is shows you how to output an array nicely without having to view your page source, so on your actual page. Um, basically, what we're going to do is make use of the pre tag. Uh, it's an HTML tag, pre, P R E. Um, what this does is it preserves, i.e. pre, the prefix of preserve is pre, um, it preserves all white space, that is to say all um, tabs, new lines, whatever, spaces, it um, keeps them. So for instance, I'm sure that you guys know, if you were to simply output um, this, and then this, and you refresh this page, I uh, will remove this print r, you can see that the a and the a are actually right beside each other. There's a single space because that's all that HTML handles. However, if you um, encase them in these pre tags, pre and pre, and refresh, you get them like that. Um, if I go back, I'm going to put them like this without the pre tags, I refresh and I view page source. You can see that we actually are getting the whole seven or five lines of space in between. Um, so the source code realizes it, but HTML trims all the white space down to a single character. So we're going to make use of this pre tag. Um, since the source code is realizing when uh, you output an array using print r, um, the new lines and the nice tabbed in labels of array, etc. using the pre tag will also. So what we're gonna do is echo pre comma and then print underscore r globals um, and then ending of the pre tag. Pre. We'll refresh this. You can see it is output ever so nicely on this page right here. Now if you're not looking for the globals, you can use this with the cookies array. Refresh. Oh. Cookies with that. No? Oh well. Guess no cookies are being set. To did it. Unless it's cookie. Is it cookie? Yeah, it's cookie. Never mind. Um, so you can output this cookie array. Uh, you could output your session array. I mean, I don't think I have any sessions, but uh, yeah. You could output your post, all the post data that you're being sent. Why is there this one? Where is that coming from? I don't know. I don't know where this one's coming from, but I apologize. Um, but go back to globals. Or no, let's output the server array. And refresh. I am not having the best day for typing. And you can see we get this huge array, all output very nicely. And I mean, this is not limited to arrays, as I was showing you. Um, if you need to output something that's like tabbed or spaced weirdly, making use of the pre tag. Um, is very helpful. If you want something to show up exactly as you have it typed, that's where the pre tag comes in handy. And 
see we get a tab. Um, so if you're looking to type out legitimate paragraphs, hey, I mean, that, that's legitimate, right? Yeah. Copy and paste this a bunch of times. Woo, 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 woo. And then um, copy this line, the entirety of this line. Copy, and we'll put it down one more line, or we'll put it down two lines to space out paragraphs as you normally would. Tab that in. Ugh, I'm sorry. My typing today is lacking very much. But, and um, we refresh this, you can see, oh well, that's a bad example because I don't ever break down here, which I would have to, because it's perversing all the white space and does not assume white space unless you have it in a container, but um, there we go. Now you can see we have legitimate paragraphs except you'd also probably want to have them like this. Although I'm getting slightly off topic here. Um, it can show using the pre-tag can be a way that you enter um, tabbed out paragraphs, so properly formatted paragraphs online. Although um, this tutorial it shows the use of it for outputting large arrays very nicely. Um, I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys learned something. If you have any questions, leave one below if you have anything to suggest, anything you want to tell me, um, any questions that you don't want to post on the video, you can send me a message on YouTube or leave me a channel comment or comment on any one of my videos. I read all of your guys' comments, I check my messages every single day, so um, leave me anything and I will get back to you in the best manner I possibly can. Thanks for watching.